Happy Sunday, everyone. This is Beth Guide with the Internet Marketing Minute, and today we're going to talk about images. And I saw a question this morning that is what sparked this thought, and the question said, can I put a 90 meg movie in the header of my website? And after I laughed a second, I stopped and I said, you know, this is something that I think beginners would ask, so let me go ahead and answer it if it's a video short and it's well worth taking the time to do this. So let's talk before we talk about size, let's talk about what is the impact of having a video in the header of your website. It looks cool. It's great. Looks cool. But the reality is that's where the good stops. Movement in the header of a website negatively impacts the conversion of that website. So that's the first problem that you're going to see with it is that if you put a movie, a slider, or anything that moves in the top, usually what it does is it draws the user's attention away from what you're hoping to achieve, what your conversion action is, them interacting with your brand because they're lost in the, the movie or lost in the slider. So that's the first, and I think that's probably the biggest reason. Now, I'm always a Google person first and foremost, so I, I will say that the next and probably larger concern from a technical standpoint is that when you have a large file like that running around in the top of your website, um, you can't pass core vitals. And although Google's not truly using core vitals as a ranking algorithm anymore, at least that's what they're saying, um, I think it's just inconsiderate for you to present something to the end user that's going to make something take, you know, 10 or 20 seconds to download for just that element. So you want to be considerate of your users. They're basically future customers. So you want to present to them and do things in the best way you possibly can. I think that that's probably a good way to say that. Um, Google's looking for how big it, things are. Um, even 200k files are a little bit too big for me on some level. I did have somebody contact me a few weeks ago and said, hey, my page is loading slow and they had 50, you know, two and three meg images that had to be fixed. So although my server does shrink everything uh, and does some compression on it, we just do that as our natural part of our web hosting for everybody. Um, the other the other thing is, is that if you start something really big, it can only compress it so much. So I would always recommend doing it with Photoshop. Canva is another good way to go ahead and do it if you have to. Um, there's multiple ways to do it. The other thing is that if you're using WordPress, which is what I tell everybody they should use anyway, um, you would uh, use the web uh, WordPress interface to do that. Um, things like Imagify, um, they're inexpensive. Um, that we include them in our hosting plans, but um, you can go ahead and add that and it'll help compress images and help keep you uh, in good shape. But going all the way back to the movie and the header, even though it's cool, there's way too many cons for you to do that. Well, that's all for me for today, for this Sunday. This is again Beth Guide with the Internet Marketing Minute. Have a good one and we'll see you next week.